guys, welcome to another video, and today I will be talking about Bayshore Mall. Now those of you who don't know what that is, it is the mall in Eureka, California, where I used to live, but I noticed in the years I lived there, it kind of got a little more run down than usual. Like when I first moved there, it was fine, but they changed it a lot. They changed the sign. It used to be red. Now it's like black. I honestly like the old font better, but they changed a lot about it. So in today's video, I'm going to cover what went wrong with this mall and what they could do to make it better. Now, here's what I am going to do. I'm going to read this article, basically saying the mall's history, like what it started as and what it is today. And I'm going to look at that after, and after I do that, after I read it, I'm going to basically react and say what I think. And I found this article on Wikipedia and I'm going to read it. And, without further ado, let's read. Bayshore Mall was built in 1988 as demand for shopping grew in the North Coast region of California. The original anchors were Mervyn's on the South End, which is where Kohl's is today, Gotchalk's on the West End, where Walmart is today, and J.C. Penney on the East End, where you know, um, what is called Bed Bath & Beyond is. And Sears is on the north end, which was still there until recent days where it closed. Um, on the north end, Long Drugs also operated a store at the mall, which was closed having been relocated to the Payless store purchased by Long's at the Eureka Mall nearby. And most of that space was converted to Petco in 2004. In the early 2000s, JCPenney downsized into an outlet store, then left them all entirely. Bed Bath & Beyond, along with Borders Books, came in soon after the split the anchor space. Then in late 2008, Mervyn's filled for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and in turn closed the Eureka store. In December of that year, Gotchalks closed in July 2009 after filling Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Leaving just one anchor space filled, Kohl's officially opened up their new store at the Old Mervyn's location on September 27, 2009. Old Navy and Gap closed before the movie's a branch of a local cinema entertainment company with other sites scattered over the region. Closed in December 2009. Borders Books closed in September 2011 following bankruptcy. I'm noticing a lot of these places are going bankrupt. Now that's probably one of the issues the mall's having because of malls dying out and all of that. I still go to the mall because I just like it. I don't know. Um, where was I? Following the purchase plans to remodel, the 73,000 square foot Gotchalk space were submitted to, to the city of Eureka by a contractor for Walmart during the summer of 2011 and opened June 12, 2012. Hometown Buffet closed on December 31st, 2011, in late summer of 2013, TJ Maxx went into the mall before, wait, the, where Borders had been. The same year, Ulta Beauty and Sports Authority went where the movies had been, and in 2014, Sabaro closed amid bankruptcy issues, while Mrs. Clothing, a value clothing store, came in while Staples went into the mall where Home Down Buffet had been in September 2015. 
The Avenue and Wet Seal closed in January 2015, though Avenue never showed signs of a closeout or going out of business sign. The localized pizza place entered the mall in January 2015 in a former Sabaro spot, later to be known as Hot Slice Pizzeria, with a closed store, Salt Tree, going in a vacant lot, but leaving just a few weeks later along with longtime tenant Radio Shack. Planet Fitness opened later in the year though it was delayed until early 2016, where the half of Hometown Buffet had been. June 2016 saw Sports Authority... the I can't read today. Sports Authority closing after just three years due to the company going bankrupt in March 2017. Yeah, I'm noticing a lot of bankrupt companies were in this mall. They went bankrupt... Hot Slice Pizzeria closed, with a Mexican restaurant opening just a few weeks later in the same place. June 29th, 2019 saw the return of Old Navy, which is still there today, going where Sports Authority had been after leaving the mall in 2019. Now, this could have affected where the mall, what, what happened in the mall, but I'm just going to go over some backstory. On January 9th, 2010, a... 6.5 earthquake struck off the coast of Eureka, about 27 miles out at sea at 4.27 p.m. The mall was one, was among the buildings damaged by the quake, with loosened floor and ceiling tiles, as well as water damage from the sprinklers. But engineers found no structural damage, so it could be an issue, and it cannot. I'm just going over it. Today, Bayshore Mall is currently has over 80 stores available, 70, and it is the largest shopping complex for over 200 miles. Anchor stores are Kohl's and Walmart, which opened June 13, 2012, and TJ Maxx, which opened August 25, 2013. Ulta Beauty and Sports Authority opened in 2013, but Sports Authority declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2016. Uh, it, it, it said 2017 earlier. Yeah, Wikipedia for ya. Old Navy returned to the mall in 2019, occupying the old Sports Authority space. Ray's Food Place, a full-service supermarket, was located in a separate building directly south of Cole's entrance on the same property, but closed at the end of 2013 when parent company C&K Markets declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Other major stores, including Ross, Dress for Less, Bed Bath Beyond, Petco, and Pier 1 Imports. The mall is served by Eureka Transit Service and Redwood Transit Service. On August, 20, on August 31st, 2019, it was announced that Sears would be closing. This location is part of a plan to close 85 stores nationwide. The store closed on December 1st, 2019. In January 2020, Pier 1 Imports announced it would be closing this location as part of a plan to close 400 locations nationwide. See, a lot of these locations went out of business, and it's not like we won't forget them. They still remain in our hearts. Some people like them, some people don't. I never really went into Sears, personally, but I actually only went in there once to use the bathroom, but... <laughs> oh, man. It was one of the biggest stores in the mall, I'll tell you that much. But, yeah, I mean, Bayshore Mall has come a long way. Um, I can't wait to see what it's going to look like in the future, what's going to open. Um, I will be moving back to Eureka in a year. And hopefully by then they'll have some better stores and they'd open something good and, um, yeah. I would hate to see that mall go under. It's already going under because online online businesses are taking over. And with the pandemic, it just got worse. Numbers are going down for that mall. I would love to see it come back 
and become the place it used to be. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to stay updated on the videos that I will upload when I can. I haven't been uploading lately because of things. I want to upload more, but you know how that goes. Everything gets all jumbled, something comes up. I'll just upload when I can, but I know that some people are unsubscribing. Um, if you don't like my upload and schedule times, unsubscribe. But if you're a loyal subscriber, then stay subscribed. But click the notification bell to stay updated when I do upload. On the 28th, I will be uploading a video of my one year anniversary on YouTube. Um, I can't believe it's been almost a year already. Um, I just want to thank you guys all for sticking with it. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Peace out.